Breaking news at 6, a Greene County grand jury has indicted the former ROTC coordinator at Fairborn High School on more than 80 felonies, and nearly half of the indictment is made up of sexual battery charges. I'm Cheryl McHenry. James is on special assignment. The I-Team's John Bedell is live in the news center. And John, you've been following this story for a w more than a week and just confirmed new details digging through court records this afternoon. Cheryl, this was a secret indictment, which means it was not public when that grand jury handed out the list of 83 formal accusations against Eric's Frixens on Friday. But court records I checked today show it became public when Frixens was served a copy of the indictment in the Greene County Jail. This formal charging document includes 40 counts of sexual battery, all felonies, another 40 counts of pandering sexually oriented material involving a minor, two counts of corrupting another with drugs, and one count of illegal cultivation of marijuana. That is the only misdemeanor included in this charging document. As the I-Team reported last week, most of the court documents in this case are sealed, meaning not public. But Fairborn Police confirmed to the I-Team they served a search warrant at Frickson's home and that the allegations involve an inappropriate relationship with an underage student at Fairborn City Schools. Frickson's, that's his mugshot there on the left, resigned from his job at Fairborn High School after police arrested him on preliminary drug and sex charges two weeks ago at a restaurant in Beaver Creek. In a statement sent to the I-Team, Fairborn City Schools officials announced Frickson's arrest and his resignation and said the district was working with Fairborn Police on an active investigation and the district also declined any more comments citing that police probe. As of right now, I checked and Frickson's is in the Greene County Jail he needs $750,000 to change that. And as this case now moves from Fairborn Municipal Court to Greene County Common Pleas Court with this indictment, Frickson's does not have his next court date scheduled as of right now, but we'll let you know when that changes. Live in the News Center for the I-Team, I'm John Bedell, News Center 7. All right, John.